these apps are really putting up a fight. I don't know what market you're in, but here in Phoenix, oh, it's trash. This is garbage. I mean, today is Friday. I've been online for two and a half hours. I did a little bit in the morning, and then I just finished with a little bit like a quick run, and I'll have that at the tail end of this video. But I've only made like, I ain't even made 65 bucks, man, like $63 on a Friday. And that's all Lyft. Uber is throwing no surge. I haven't driven Uber yet. They're throwing no surge. I'm not touching them. I looked at a couple of Uber rides that came through. I saw a trip radar on Uber. Everything was under a dollar a mile. Friday, under a dollar a mile on Uber in Phoenix. And today's what? January the 12th, 2024. And that's what we're getting. Guarantee, last year, it wasn't this horrible. Not even close to being as... This is bad. This I don't know how your market's looking, but this shit's horrible right now. I was driving a uh, Lyft... And I mean, they were throwing surge all over the place as long as my car wasn't in that place. I was sneak catching surges. I would turn my phone off, sit there for 10 minutes at a gas station, hurry up, turn my phone on. As soon as I turn it on, it'll be a $3 surge. I'll trap the surge. As soon as I trap it, the surge would disappear. This is the game they're playing. I don't know what market you in, but this is the game they're playing in Phoenix. A lot of people out there know that they're doing this trick surge, just having something sitting somewhere, and by the time you drive to it, it disappeared. So you spent, you know, five, six minutes getting there, and you're like, oh, forget it. I might just do a ride now. That's what they're doing. They're making sure they're wearing people down, wearing you down. This is a battle. It's a war. And there's a lot of drivers out there not understanding why we're doing February the 14th. If we're going to sit around and let these apps play us like suckers, oh, we're not driving. Because I'm not going to sit here and allow them to play me like that. And then me turn around doing rides where they're charging customers, you know, $24, $30. And I'm getting $6, $7 out of it. Tonight, my man Dalton out in Vegas told me a guy paid about $28 for a four-mile ride. They were charging this guy $7 a mile, $28. And they were giving Dalton $6. So you know what Dalton did. Hey, I told y'all. Cash App Venmo, I told you, man, you got to start being smarter. Because the guy even said, man, they're ripping you guys off. I just paid $28 for this. $7 a mile they charged his customer, but they were giving Dalton $6 for this. He said, yeah, it was only four miles. I was getting six bucks. But still, even if the dude would have tipped him like two or three dollars, it would have made it two dollars a mile. But he's getting charged seven dollars a mile. These apps are not playing right now. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they whittle us down, get us to the point where we don't want to drive, flood the market with all these immigrants, flood the market with all these desperate drivers on their last dime. Because when you got somebody desperate enough to take this shit, they're going to take it. You got to stay fighting. My man, J Jesse, he went, got a W-2. I told y'all what was going to happen. They're going to push us to the point where a lot of us are going to just leave the rideshare space. We'll come back when the shit changes. But for the time being, you got to keep a roof over your head. You don't have time for this shit. A lot of people have bailed on ride share, bailed on delivery. Said it's just not, it's not feasible. I'm not going to risk damaging my car, putting it in a situation where I can't even afford to fix it, giving these people corporate profits, record profits at that. We got to do something, y'all. February the 14th has to work. It has to work. Failure is not an option. If they're not putting out big surge on February the 14th, you're not doing cash rides on February the 14th. You can't sit and do cheap rides and expect things to change. If you're doing shit rides, you're doing cheap rides, you're allowing yourself to be played, why would they change if that's what you're tolerating? Why would they change? Because they're going to be nice to you? They're stealing your tips, stealing your fares, deactivating you for no reason, and you think they want to be nice to you? And just one day go, oh, shit, you know what? For all you guys who have padded our pockets, we're going to start paying you three, four dollars a mile. How about that? We're going to be nice back to y'all. No, they're going to drop this shit into the ground till everybody who invested in shares in this company is rich as hell. And we broke broken cars in the driveway sitting on bricks. We've got loans we owe to banks and everything. Repossessions happening. Tow trucks taking cars out of apartment complexes. And meantime, all these shareholders are like, man, we winning now. Thanks, Dara. Thanks, David. We winning now. They're not going to be nice to you. That's why February the 14th has to work. If they ain't showing you no love, don't show them no love. If you don't see $15, $20, $30 surges out there, don't even touch it. Oh, Jeff, I got a $3.50 surge on Valentine's Day. Leave that shit. Same stuff we was getting on Christmas. The same stuff we was going on Thanksgiving. $3.50, you can get that any day. If they're not doing holiday pay, you're not doing holiday play. That's just how we got to do it. 
And I hope people worldwide is taking this shit seriously. This is about corporate using technology to take over humanity, to run us into the ground, get driverless vehicles, get driverless deliveries and stuff like it, robot deliveries and shit. This is what they're trying to do. And they're always calling themselves a technological company. They're a technology company. They have nothing to do with us. We're people. We're not tech. We're people. They keep saying we're Uber Technologies, Lyft Technologies. We do, we do technology. We don't care about people that much. We care about our technology more. We've got to develop our technology, build our technology. They build that shit on our backs. At that point, you need to realize you're being phased out. When they build shit on your back, oh, if they can, if they can produce the, the technology faster, your ass ain't going to have a job faster. If in a year... They got record profits. They're developing the tech. A year, you won't have a job. Two years, you won't have a job. Three years, you won't have a job. They're building this tech as fast as they can to get rid of your ass. And look at the note you got on your car. You still owe four years on it, five years on it. You think you're going to last that long taking shit fares? You're going to have a repossession on your credit. You're going to have bad credit. Sitting in a W-2, interest rates, garnishments on your wages because you got to owe all these creditors and shit. Fucking around with ride share. Fucking around with delivery. They got it to the point where people can't even tip you on DoorDash and shit like that. I'm like, what kind of shit is this? Somebody can't show me appreciation and consideration knowing that this is going to help them get their food faster? People are tipping. These corporations are keeping it. They're looking at it as if it's their money. It ain't our money. It's their money. That's the way they're looking at it. So if that's the game they're going to play, trust me, failure is not an option on February the 14th. It's not an option. I just dropped off Miss Tanya. I'm in the middle of a bonus zone. As soon as I dropped her off, I was like, wait a minute. 450 bonus. I'm in the straight lane. I can't go left or right. If they send me left or right, I'm going to be pissed because I, I have to go south. I cannot go north. So come on. What do you got left, you motherfuckers? Give me some money. Let's go. Wait a minute. What's today's date? Shit. Let's hit this real quick. It's Friday, January the 12th. Let's get that out the way. Friday, January the 12th. Got about three quarters of a tank of fuel. Man, let's get let's get it. I'm gonna have to turn on Uber to get them to hit me with something real quick. Hold up. Let me turn on Uber, see if they'll hit me with something. All right, let me go in here, make sure I'm on Uber Pet. Yep, I'm on Pet. Bad. So that right there is gonna help me uh, get something toggle through because they won't send me nothing unless. See, there you go. Or am I south? Uh, Ten dollars for that. Let's take it. Let's take it. All right, I'll take it. It's almost two dollars a mile. So I just got to go up here and get on the highway, pick up Colin, and bring him right back to where I am. Shit, this is gonna be easy. I wish I was in the center lane because I'm behind a slow ass Silverado. I might not make it. I swear I can't stand being behind fucking cars and shit because if I'm in the front, I know I'll make it. Being behind cars and this is an old dude driving. Oh shit, this ain't happening. I ain't gonna make it. I'm not gonna fucking make it. Man, damn. I'm gonna have to cancel this one, Colin. This is how it works. Every time I'm in the left, they're going to put me on something on the right. There you go. Come on, dog. Go, motherfucker. Go. Yep, I ain't going to make it. Man, shit. Hold up. Let me get over real quick. Let me get over. Come on, let's go. Shit, you motherfuckers. Let's go. Come on. Go, go. Shit. There we go. Now we in the mix. These motherfuckers, I swear, they need to learn how to drive. They're going too fucking slow for me today. It's like these motherfuckers all going 15 miles an hour. I'm like, you got to hit that bitch, man. You got to get the moving. This is morning traffic. I drive at nights a little bit quicker. Daytime motherfuckers just waking up. They not doing it right. Like, y'all got to get in this shit. Like, the car I passed is like fucking 20 car lengths behind me already. That's how slow they going. Motherfucker, wake up and let's go. Come on, man. Let's drop Colin off. So now, and actually he was a professor running a little late for a lecture. So I won't see a tip from him until after his lecture is done. So he was rushing out pretty much. But I'm going to try to go south. I'm not going north. I want to go south again because north is crazy. South is decent. Now it says I'm in the bonus zone. It says, am I in the bonus right now or what? I think I am. Let's try. Let's see if I'm in the bonus zone right now. Uh, $3 bonus. All right, not bad, not bad. Now, there's a lot of traffic up in this area, so I'm not quite enjoying this. A lot of people that can't drive, like, Jesus Christ, man, let's get it. Now, I don't know if they want me to go left or right. I don't know because I'm sitting at an intersection right now. They've got to figure some shit out because I'm about to turn left, and I guarantee they're going to send me some shit north because I'm about to go left to go south, 
His car is coming, so let me turn this on real quick. Oh, it's already on. All right. Let's see something. So I'm about to turn left. Let me go back to Uber Pet. I just want to do that real quick. Oh, shit. Nope, not doing that. Yeah, I don't want to do that trip right there. Let me make sure I'm off. Yeah, I'm on Uber Pet now. All right, so I turn left. I want to sit in this parking lot right here. I don't want to drive around. I, I hate scouting while my car is moving because I, I swear to God, that's how people get rear-ended and shit like that, messing with these damn phones or whatever. So, okay, so I'm sitting in the parking lot right now. Let's sit here for a second, kind of relax, see what kind of shit they start sending me. Uh, What do we got? What do we got? Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? All right, they got $5 just south of me. Uber still ain't got no surge, I bet. Yeah, see, Uber ain't got no surge, so I'm not really worried about them right now. They got surge over here for 2 bucks. That's about it. $1.75 down by Tempe. They're not really worth it. I just leave Uber Pet running in the background. I don't give a shit about them. But I'm trying to get a ride over here. We see we got three. I can get two extra dollars by going around the corner. Do I want to deal with that? Hmm. Because I am I swear, Phoenix is right in front of me, just south of me. And just past the highway. And I'm like, man, this is a lot of traffic. Do I want to be out in this traffic? Or do I just want to sit where I am? And I live like right here by the airport. So I'm not too far from home anyways, but I want to call it good and just head to the house. But like I said, I do not like driving in traffic. I just don't. All right. Where we at? $11 to go to Tempe. Let's take it. Let's take that. $11 to go to Tempe. I got to get out of here. Let's go pick up Travis. Motherfucking Travis. Who's this Travis Barker looking ass motherfucker? So I'm out of here. I need to get away from here anyways. There's a lot of traffic. So you see I do this ride for $15. I'll do downtown to Tempe for $15. Bucks. I'm doing it for $11 right now. And it's with a $3 surge. So I'm only getting $8 to do this shit. Eight, which is half of what I normally do it for. I'm only getting $8 for this for real. And I usually do it for $15. But I need to get the fuck from down here. And I'm not really ready to sit down here. There's all these slow ass people and everybody's retired and shit. Nighttime, you don't have retirees on the road. Daytime, it's a bunch of retirees on the road. So it's like, I got to get away from this shit. I can't deal with these people. They cannot fucking drive. Now I'm like, I'm not about to sit here and let them wreck into my car, wreck into their shit. Just not doing it. Oh shit, let me turn right here real quick. Let's see something. All right, let's cruise down here. I'm going to drop down McDowell. And then pick up Travis Barker. So glad I picked up that ride. I'm telling you, man, I'm so glad. That dude, he was actually one of the, he's almost like a professor. He works with PhD students that deal with engineering, but it's computer engineering, AI. So we had a talk about AI the entire ride. Man, that was the most amazing conversation. The smartest dude you will ever meet. This dude is so, and he, they deal with the ethics, they deal with the ethics side of AI, the philosophy side of AI, programming, you know, because it's such a new, it's such a new industry right now. It's a new level of existence of intellect. And so we started talking about that. Man, this dude is fucking sharp as a tack. Man, I'm so glad I picked that ride up. So glad. And I, I was like, and I was telling him, you know, I watch sci-fi a lot. I'm a sci-fi junkie. So I was telling him, man, what they should do with AI, honestly, in my opinion, what they should do is they should send it to outer space and they should let it explore other like planets and explore depths of everything like put that ai on something that can travel far it knows how to communicate it can report back to us it can talk to us it can do a lot of things so why not use ai for that seven bucks for that do i want to do that yeah let's do that because i'm going home anyways let's do it all right i'm gonna go pick up het Het, what's up Het? i'm gonna go pick up Het because that's my seven dollar ride home right there and he's, I'm dropping this person off right above my house. So let me go to last ride real quick. Last ride. Uh, turn request off. All right, bet. This is my last ride right here. I'm dropping him off exactly where I want to be, which is just north of the airport. And then I'm going to shoot down and I'm going home. I'm going to eat me something real quick. I only made about, what, $20 so far. This will be close to 30 bucks. Start the day. Plus I got my uh, 15 from Tanya, so... About $55 so far, and I've only been on the road since 7.30. It's 8.30, and I'm pushing $55. So about an hour of driving, $55. Not bad, not bad.
Okay, I'm right by my house right now. Just dropped dude off. And, you know, I'm in the bonus zones and shit like that. So I'm like, let me see what kind of rides they're going to send me. I'm sitting over here in the bonus zone. I'm probably about, I don't know, a mile from my house. But I'm not going to go home yet. I'm going to kind of cruise over here real quick and sit somewhere and scout rides for a minute. But I'm not getting any tips. So I'm going to have to go in and get my little tip thing out and let people know, hey, these motherfuckers are still in our tips today. It's Friday, National Tip Theft Day. I'm going to pull over right here real quick. Because once cars, I'm, a, I'm in a good area where there's not a lot of cars. So I'm, I'm going to chill here for a minute. But yeah, I need to get my, um, damn, there's 21 drivers at the airport. Probably more than that. Let's see. Let's go back in Uber. I think Uber's still running. Yep. Uber still, Uber ain't sent me a ride the whole time. Well, because I got it on Paw Patrol. But it lets you know that there's nothing coming through on Paw Patrol right there. And I'm like literally right around the corner from my house. I'm like 48th Street right here. So I'm like, yeah. I'm kind of chilling right now. Let's see what these ragamuffins talking about. Airport drop off. Seven bucks. Three dollar bonus. Mm. No, nah, we're not doing that. I'm not doing a four dollar airport drop. I'm not doing it. I'll let somebody else do that. Oh, now I don't have no surge. They took the surge away from me. All right, that's my morning. About to go home, make me some breakfast. Once they take the surge away, there's no reason to drive. So let's get out of that. Get out of that. All right. Not updating. So that's my morning right there. What time is it? Nine o'clock and I made like four. Well, that was what? On Lyft, I think I made, because I made the 15 from Tanya. So the 15 plus 28. All right, $47. 47 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. And that was like in about an hour and a half. Yeah. Wait a minute. I don't make nothing. I didn't make nothing on Uber. Nope. So 15 in that. 43. $43. We could deal with that. We could deal with that. It's funny. So I turned my app off and I sat here for a second. I haven't went anywhere. All I did was turn the app off and I turned it back on. And guess what? I'm back in the surge zone. That's what they do. They could have left the surge where it was, but they saw me sitting here after I declined that last ride. And they were like, well, if he's going to decline it, don't give him a ride. Take him out of the bonus. They're going to try to give me another ride with no bonus. See, now they did it again. I got my $3 bonus right now, but I'm actually locked in. So is $3 worth keeping? Nah, not really. I mean, I could go home, but I was like, let me sit here for a second. And I'm going to open this motherfucker up and like gave it a couple of minutes. Bam. Sure enough. But I was looking at my, my rides like yesterday. I was online for about an hour and made that 32 plus the 15 from tying that put me at what 47. So I did that yesterday. Today I'm at 28 and plus the 15 puts me at 43. I haven't gotten a tip yet from today. Hopefully I get a tip. If not, eh. but I'm running about the same rate I ran yesterday. And yesterday I had two tips, three rides, two tips put me at 32. Today, three rides, no tips got me at 28. So we'll see if they'll give me some, some tips or whatever. These raggedy motherfuckers don't. These rides aren't really banging or booming to the point where I'm like, oh, man, I need a tip. Nah, it's just not. These rides aren't that banging. I wish I could get the tips. Hopefully, they pay me some tips. I'll find out. But right now, I got my bonus zone right here. Ew, I don't know if I want to do that. $7? No, no. Because that's probably like fucking going to be 10 miles for like 10 bucks total. And I don't feel like doing it. I want to do a short trip. No airport involved. Short trip, no airport involved. That's what I'm looking for right now. Hopefully something pops up. Because like I said, I'm right around the corner from my house. But I might as well just sit here and chill. It's a lot of business parks around here. So people probably leaving here, going to a little short spot, maybe two miles. You know what? There's a Walmart up here. Let's kind of cruise for a little. I'm not going, going to Walmart, but I'm going to get close enough to Walmart. Let me open up Uber real quick. Because I'm not going to get shit until I open up my Uber account. That's how these motherfuckers work. Not now. Like I said, I could sit there all day, you know, on Lyft and not get a single fucking ride. But the minute you open up Uber, oh shit, you're getting rides now. I'm like, yep. And I don't really use Uber. Uber's like my dummy account. <laughs> it's like, shit, these dummies gonna give me a ride. That's about it. Oh, um, let's see. Let me go back in the Lyft real quick. I'm on 52nd Street. You know, I'm going to go up here to this damn, is a quick trip up here. I'm going to go hang up this quick trip up 52nd Street. And up here, 
hopefully I can sit up here and get like a ride like a student trying to get to college or maybe somebody trying to, you know, go to a friend's dorm or something like that, pick up a quick three, four mile ride, six, seven bucks, I'll do it. Three, four miles, six, seven dollars, I'll do it, I'll do it. But in the meantime, yeah, I'm not doing no nature hikes this morning. They tried to send me a nature hike when the app was off, like before I did that last ride, and it was like shit. I think it was 13 miles for 15 bucks. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going that far. I doubt it. So I just kind of pulled over and sat on the side of the road hanging out. But let's see what they got. Yeah, here's a quick trip right here. So I'm going to sit at this quick trip. See if anybody needs a ride. What do we got? Just walked out the gym. I'm sitting over here in Mesa right now. So I'm like, forget it. I like I said, I'm I'm out in the morning. I might as well do some, you know, working out or whatever like that. So I ain't gotta work out at night. I just work out in the daytime. I'm trying to find me a ride that'll take me back to my house. Here I am right here, and I'm trying to get to there. It's like right down to 60, right up under the airport. I just want to go from here to there. It's maybe, I don't know, shit, maybe five, six miles. Who knows what it is? But if I can get a ride going back that way, it'll be cool. I'll be like one, two, three, four. Yeah. It'll probably be about I would say a good six miles. If I can get a six mile ride, seven mile ride headed back towards my house, I'll take it. Like I said, I got uh, Lyft running right now, Uber running. Let me run on Lyft real quick. Wait a minute, let's see some. Kick all this stuff out. I got too many apps open. I don't like that. I like to only have my ride share apps open. That's it. So, let's see if I can find a ride headed back. Wait, $37? Somebody give me a tip? Hey, I got a tip. $2 tip. There we go. That was that ride right there. Three miles, 915, so about $2 a mile, roughly, almost three. Uh, let's see what they're talking about on this side of the world. They're gonna get me back towards my house? Nope, I'm a school. Nope, those are both going in the wrong direction. See, that's going opposite of me. I'm not trying to go that way. That's taking, that's not, nah, not. Nah. Not going that way. I'm going the opposite direction. I know I could set a fucking filter to say which way I'm going, but I just don't feel like it right now. I just wanna see what they got to offer. They got a good ride, I'll take a good ride. I'm. I want to go home, but if there's money out there, let's look at this money. So I'm not setting no destination. You should just set a destination filter. Nah. Because if, if somebody says, hey, man, I'll give you $50 to go like here. I'm going to take that $50 to go there. But I want to make sure, you know, I'm going toward the airport no matter what anyways. I'm always looking for money, scouting where there's money. See, these rides ain't worth shit. A bunch of $3 rides, no surge, no nothing. Let's turn Uber off because Uber's on some other shit. They already pissed me off already. They don't send me so many $3 rides on that screen. I'm like, come on, man. Y'all know better than that shit. Don't do me like that. So now I got Lyft running. Let's see if Lyft's going to give me something to go toward the airport. Like I said, I'm just trying to get right here where it says Contempo Tempe. That's it. I'm just chilling in the parking lot, doing nothing. It ain't even 11 o'clock yet. So I did a quick 30-minute workout. I think I'm going to do that every day. Do my morning appointments. You know, do a 30, 40-minute workout. Get me a ride back to my house. Well, I can shower, eat breakfast. I'm, I'm going to come up with a new routine for 2024. 2023 was pretty decent. I didn't work out that much in 2023. I did a few home workouts, but I haven't been to the gym in over a year. So walking in this motherfucker, they're probably like, we thought you died of COVID, motherfucker. What are you doing in here? <laughs> it's like, shit, I'm still here, motherfucker. <coughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't cough on their ass. They'll fucking probably kick me back out. Get the fuck out of here coughing on people. You crazy motherfucker. So I'm like, you know, I went back in there. Everybody looks the same. Motherfuckers all working out and shit. Ain't nothing changed. Only thing that changes me, I just didn't feel like being in there. But I'm like, I got to push myself to get to this gym. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm, and the good thing about me is I got high metabolism, so I don't gain weight. But the problem is, is that I can feel myself getting weaker. I did maybe, you know, 245. I was in there benching 245, just doing like a quick warm up set and stuff like that. But it was like, I didn't really want to get into it. So I kind of did a few 245s, you know. Did, did some easy shit. $7 going the wrong way. Yeah, they do, both doing the same shit. They take me in the wrong direction. I'm trying to go toward the airport. But if they can give me something going toward the airport, I'll be good. Yeah, working out, eh. Tell motherfuckers, I'm, I'm in good enough shape to be 50. I can still, you know, get out there on the basketball court, probably play some flag football and shit like that, but I just don't feel like it. $6 going north, doubt it. We're going toward the airport. But if they can give me something good, shit, I'll get out. If they don't, I give them a couple of more chances. If they don't give me nothing, I'll just take off. Oh, and these are the challenges right here. So I selected the 35 rides because I can probably kick out 25 rides. That's about it. So I'll get 25 bucks. $5 for that? Mm, nah, we're cool. So I can probably do, you know, 
I can make 25 rides. I'm not doing no 55 fucking rides. I'm, it's only $2 a fucking ride. I'm not doing no 55 rides to make an extra $2 a ride. They won't give me that many rides. No, I'm cool on that shit. So what I'm trying to do is, is make sure I can, um, I could probably kick out 25. I definitely can't do 35, but I could do 25. And I might as well, if I can do 25, might as well get 25 for 25 instead of the bottom one, 25 for 20. Fuck it, I could do 25 rides for 25 bucks and call it good. Dollar a ride, and that'll be accidental. It won't even be like something that I'll do on fucking purpose. It'll be I'll accidentally get 25 rides over a couple of days. Because they don't, they might, I might end up getting like 20. Because they don't send enough rides out to do these challenges anyways. And all the rides I get have to fit my criteria. I'm not chasing bullshit rides just to fit a fucking criteria, just to get a bonus. No, I'm not doing that. They have to fit a criteria. I got to get this profit. If I'm not getting profit, I'm not throwing it in there. Because a dollar a ride is not good enough. Two dollars a ride is not good enough. If you're giving me eight dollars a ride, six dollars a ride, I'll chase the challenge. Because that's enough. Shit like this is why I won't do them. Like, no, I'm not. They're all going the wrong way. Community centers and shit like that. You know what? I think I'm around retired people. Let's go offline. I'm around, I'm around too many retired motherfuckers. I'm just going to go home on my own gas. I ain't worried about this shit. Because every time they send me something, it's to community centers, fucking friendship villages and it's way too many retired people and i'm not i don't feel like dealing with that right now still the 10th but it's actually six o'clock p.m i took me a nap got up ate a little bit and i'm gonna try to hit the road now this is the issue it's been surging over here in tempe i was talking to dalton back and forth on messages it's been surging all over town for the past like maybe hour and I've been kind of watching it and it hasn't died. I wonder if I get to Tempe, what's going to happen? Is this surge going to stay? Should I go downtown? Should I go Tempe? Don't quite know yet. But all I know is it's been surging like crazy. And I've got a funny feeling as soon as I turn this app on, shit's going to disappear. Let's see what we got going. Because I guarantee, I'm not going to get a ride right off the bat. I already know that as far as with surging involved. But all of this surge everywhere has been going crazy. Downtown Phoenix, I really want to go downtown that's garbage right there nine bucks for like 12 miles yeah. no let's not do that let's not do that now we've got extra comfort twelve dollars four dollars for about four miles yeah. no that's groceries i don't feel like doing groceries right now let's turn this shit off real quick because they doing some crazy shit let's turn that off all right now let's see yeah, now you see it starting to the surge is starting to go away even downtown because it was all full right there a second ago, I think. But yeah, that's what they're about to start doing. Now that I'm, now that I'm online, everything's starting to drop. It's almost like they wanted to see how many drivers are going to get online. And now from here, yeah, I don't think it's going to do anything. Let me go look at Uber real quick. Let me see what Uber's got going. Let me turn this car on. Yeah. Let's see something real quick. Yeah, Uber probably ain't got nothing going. Because they never do. Let me make sure I got it on Paw Patrol. Alright, put it on. Because I don't want them to send me nothing either. I like to scout. I don't like to just jump right in and start doing rides. I like to kind of look around and see where everything's at. Yeah, they only got Surge on that side of town. Nowhere else. Surge way, way the hell out here past the 303. Definitely not going out there. Huh. Yeah, let's turn that one off, too. Let's not deal with that one. Nope, no updates. I'm going to see if, like I said, I don't know, man. I'm in. I'm, I'm wanting to go downtown, but I know highway. The traffic is probably, it's only 6 o'clock, so it's probably crazy shit on the highway right now. So I'm thinking about going to Tempe, probably starting over in this area, starting east tonight instead of going out to the west. Maybe starting east to see what exactly is going to happen. Yeah, I got about, what, almost a half a tank of gas left. I mean, this is where I'm sitting at with gas right now. So that's where I'm sitting at with gas right there. So I'm doing pretty well. I can probably roll all night on that with no problem. But, man, it's just, this surge is tricky. Like I said, it, it was it was booming for like the past hour. It's been booming. But as you can see, it's slowly starting to go away. Look at that disappearing. As soon as I get online, it's slowly starting to go away. Man. I mean, it was nuts. This whole damn city was lit up. But now this is what they're doing. I don't know. Let's go online. Let's, they're going to probably send me the same shit again. Like I said, I'm not doing nothing less than $2 a mile. So I'm just seeing what they got out there. 
Yep, eleven dollar right there. They're gonna probably try to send me that one. I'm not going for that one either. But yeah, highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. But that's a bunch of college student rides right there. Phoenix is kind of drying up. All right, they're trying to close it back up now. Okay, so they got the gap closed. So there's something going on. They're going to have you going from Phoenix all the way over to Scottsdale where everybody's partying tonight. So, hmm. All right, let me go get situated somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to go left or right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to Tempe first. I'm going to start off in Tempe. I'm going to go sit at Jack in the Box for a minute to see what kind of rides are popping up, see if I can do some short hops, listen to me some music on the way over. I'll hit y'all right back. I'm at Tempe right now. Let's see where they got me. All right, so I'm right here right now. So I'm almost about Tempe. And this is what the funny thing is. So I'm almost by Tempe where the surge was right up there. Now, I live by right where it says Contempo Tempe. So what they did was they pulled the surge from that area, from Tempe where I, where I am now, and they put it down here where I was at first down by my house. You see, I, they do that shit all the time. They move the surge to areas where you not. I was right where the surge is, just a little bit north of there. I could have just shot down and picked it up. Instead, they had surge in Tempe all night. They had nothing up under me all night until I just went to where I went to. That's the shit they do on these apps. They'll play with you now. Phoenix, they got a little bit north of Phoenix, but there was no surge in my area all night long. I've been checking. I've been watching for like over an hour, just off and on, turning my app on, turning it off, talking to Dalton, doing whatever. No, no surge was ever in this area down there until I got up by Tempe. Now they moved the surge down. So I'm saying you got to watch out for these ragged ass apps. This is what they do. They lure you to an area, then they move the surge to where you just left to make you go back. Or you sit there and you're just taking cheap rides where you're, you're like, well, damn, I just drove here. Ain't no surge. Well, I might as well take rides. Fuck that. I'll turn this app off and call this motherfucker good already. I'll just have a free Friday night to not do shit. I don't play with these apps, man. And just like that, the surge is sitting right next to me. All right, I, I just had to sit here at the gas station for a minute. That's about it. So now I'm going to shoot out of here, see if I can cruise over here and pick up some of this surge. Like I said, you got to do that sometimes. Just turn your phone off. Don't even mess with these apps. Don't leave it on because if you leave it on, they're going to try to, you know, send you shit rides the whole time. What? They're going to try to send you shit rides the whole time. So just turn your app off and stay put. Don't even go nowhere. Just stay right where you at. If they keep messing with the surge, pulling it in, taking it out, put you're going to have to say, you know what? Y'all keep messing with the surge. You put the surge in, then you take it away. I'm going to stay right where I'm at. Put the surge back. I'll turn my app back on. You got to play the game with them, man. You got to play the game with them. Because what they're thinking is they took the surge away, and you're going to be like, oh, well, shit, the surge is gone. I better do just some rides while I'm here. Don't do shit while you're here. Just sit and chill. If they want to, If they want to pay you to do some rides, cool. That's all right. But if they ain't paying to do no rides, do not do a ride. Turn that shit off and just stay situated. So I'm probably gonna try to grab like three dollars. If I can get three, then that's cool. Hopefully they don't try to give me some shit that's behind me, like that seven dollar ride right there. I don't have it turned on yet. I'm still going straight, so I can probably get out the Mesa out to here and pick up some surge. But I'm gonna pick up sir. Oh, that's fucked up. Look at that. They took that shit away that quick. I ain't even got the app on yet. I don't even have it turned on. They just put the surge up there and pulled it that quick again. They doing this shit on purpose. They see cars moving is what it is. They see everybody moving toward that surge and they're like, hey, they gonna go online. Nope, I'm not going online. Not till I see some surge, fuck that. App off. The shit I'm talking about. Like I said, I just turned the app off because I was like, well, fuck it. I'm just gonna keep going and come up to this gas station. As soon as I get up by the highway, they put the surge back where I was at the last gas station I was sitting at. That's the shit I'm talking about. Lyft does this. They'll try to get you to go to an area, put the surge back where you used to be. This is the second or third time they've done this shit all right, and I ain't even started driving yet. That money's from earlier this morning. I ain't even started driving yet. They already with the fuckery right now. They just tried to send me a $15 ride for like 27 miles. I said, hell no. No surge or nothing applied to it. They had a chance to give me surge back at the last gas station I was at. They never gave me the surge. Instead, I was like, well, I'm going to go sit at this gas station up here in Mesa, chill for a minute. As soon as I got by the highway, they put surge back at the last gas station. 
fuck these people, man. I'm telling you, this is the shit they do all night. They do this shit to try to irritate. See how they just bounce and surge all over the place? This is the shit they doing right now. Bounce and surge everywhere. Look at that, $7 for, man, hell no. I'm not doing no $7 for no fucking eight miles. No, hell no. They could have gave me the surge earlier. I would have been doing some of these rides. They don't give me the surge. I'm not doing none of these rides. Let me see, where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, I got a couple of more streets to hit, and I'm going to fucking stop at a gas station real quick. That $5 for four miles? Nah, I'm cool on that shit, too. I ain't driving if I ain't got no surge on my phone. Like I said, they've been playing these fucking games with me all night, so that, this is on them right now. They could have already had a fucking ride already taken by now, but nope, they want to play that surge game. Oh, put the surge where he was. Yeah, yeah, take the surge away. Put the surge where he was. I'm like, nope. Get that $14 for that? Oh, hell no. You got to go five miles north. Man, that's like 20 miles of $14. No, hell no. I could go. If that was like a mile away, I would drive to the people and probably try to do a cash ride. Real shit. But it's like, to go five miles out of my way? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. All right, we're coming up on all the Circle Ks up here. Yeah, let me get over real quick. Yeah, so I'm going to chill at this Circle K right here. That eight dollars for like nine miles. Nah, I'm cool on that shit too. It's way too far. Over three miles away. Nah, I'm cool on that. Like I said, I'm not doing none of these fucking rides because they played me already. They could have just gave me the surge earlier. And we could have been done and over with. But nope, they want to play this game. So I'm like, fuck it, let's play the game then. And right, I'm gonna park right here, chill right here for a second, kick back. I'm not going for that three dollars. I'm not. I'm gonna wait till they put surge right where I'm at. Since they want to bounce surge all over the place, put it where I'm at. I'm not chasing surge all night. I'm just sitting at gas station seeing what good rides are in the area. If I get a ride that's like a mile away, two miles away, something easy, I'll ride to the person and we'll have a negotiation. But I'm not chasing surge all night. Hell no. They can kiss my ass on that one. Real quick. But I just turned my phone on and I see a surge sitting right next to me. Let's see how close I can get to it before they pull that shit away. I'd rather eat right now. I was like, man, I'm starving, man. I'm going to go grab me something to eat. I was like, hold up. They got a little $3 surge. Let's see if this surge can get me to a restaurant other than fucking Popeyes. Because y'all know how I feel about Popeyes. Those motherfuckers are so slow. I just sat there and watched how many people were in there. Man, it was crazy. Literally, everybody that was in there was in there the whole time I was sitting in my car. Nobody walked out to fucking Popeyes. It was that crazy. All right, let's see if they're going to give me a surge. Let's see what they give me. If they give me anything, they probably won't. Because these motherfuckers will shrink that shit real quick. So I'm going to get up here and turn on this little side street right here. Clearly, they're not going to give it to me. Because it should have been lit up by now if they were going to give it to me. Come on, slow ass car. Jesus Christ. I tell you, boy, people cannot drive for shit. This is my old neighborhood right here anyways. I used to live over here live nope doubt it no surge added to that of course now i got three dollar bonus see they sent me that shit before i hit the surge because they didn't want me to get the three dollars now they just took it away see that shit they sent me a ride before the surge hit i declined it got the surge and then the surge went away real quick that's the shit they be doing all the time they don't want to pay surge they do not want to pay surge for shit it's to lure people to the area i just so happen to be sitting at the gas station that's the only reason why i got it I was sitting at the gas station. They probably didn't even think I had my app off. I was sitting there chilling and shit. It was probably like, oh shit, this motherfucker's right next to it. They couldn't get to the goddamn computer fast enough. <laughs> goddamn Brittany on the controls and shit. Brittany, how you let him get the search? I tried to send him a ride. He declined it. I even put $8 on it. Yeah, fuck them $8 rides. $8 were like 10 miles and shit. Nah, I'm cool. It's like, that's 80 cents a mile right there. I'm not doing 80 cents a mile. $8 for 10 bucks is not what I'm on. So it is like, now they got a four dollar ride up there. It's like, nah, I'm cool. All I got is a little three dollar surge right now. I'm gonna cruise over here down the street past my old apartment complex. But yeah, they pulled that shit quick as a motherfucker. As soon as they sent me that ride, they was like, shit, he didn't take it. Take the surge away. Take the surge. Yeah. Damn, look at that thirty-two dollar ride over there. Damn. That's probably a. a I would do that ride. I would do a cash ride. Let's see how many miles. Is that the Maricopa? Where is that going? Thirty-two miles is a long ass way away. Damn, it's got to stop. You got to take somebody all the way north and bring them all the way back south. That is fucking crazy. 
45, almost 45 miles. Almost 45 damn miles. I charge those motherfuckers like 80 bucks for that. Like, nah, man, $80 for that ride. Cause I, and they only paying, what, 32? Guarantee uh, Lyft probably got $75 for that ride, 75. I'll tell the people 80. Cause I'm guaranteeing they're not getting a ride all night. They're not getting a ride all night. That ride is gonna sit there. Cause I'm like, holy shit, that's got to stop to it. You got to go way up north. You got to come all the way back down to Phoenix. Yeah, that ain't happening. Not for no $32. That's going to be well over an hour something driving on your gas. You probably profit, maybe profit about mm, $25. You probably profit out of that $32, you might profit $25. Use about $6 in gas to do all of that shit. And it's going to take you a little over an hour to do it. So it ain't worth it to me. It's like, nah, I can make like 40 bucks an hour doing short rides. I'm not doing 25 on my gas in an hour. Nah, I'm cool. Give me some short shit. Like I said, this is what I've done for the week so far. I've done almost four hours of driving for 163 miles. So nearly $40 an hour, basically about $40 an hour. Like I said, I wouldn't do no $25 an hour ride. You're missing $15. That cash one dollar fucking ragged ass tip i know the motherfuckers ain't tip me no one dollar but i give them that shit oh raggedy bastards need to get back on my telling people hey give me some money to my hand motherfucker don't put that shit through the app give it in my hand but yeah let me see what kind of ride they gonna send me in a minute they ain't giving me nothing right now because i don't have uber turned on let's see something let's turn on uber real quick Let's see what we can do. Put on my turn signal so they know I'm going this way. All right. I got to get around this corner first. After I turn, then I'll start messing with these damn apps. I don't mess. With oh, shit. Here we go. See, what do we got? Come on, Lyft. What does Lyft got? $8. Let's take that. All right. Eight bucks. Let's take it. Now it's pretty quick. All right. Let me go in here and turn this shit off real quick because I just turned that on too. All right, nope, not updating you. So let's go up here and pick up Joy real quick from Hair, Nails, and Wax, whatever the hell she's at. Go over here, you got your hair done. Get your hair did, get your nails did. <laughs> so it's about 10.15 now, still Friday night. I came home eight. I'm probably going to go back out in a second. I think I'm going to head back out to Tempe. I haven't checked the map, seen if there's any surge or anything like that. But I had to get off the road. It was just garbage. And I wasn't going to be sitting out there all night, sitting in parking lots. It's kind of chilly out there. I said, let me get home, grab something to eat, charge up for the night. Hopefully, I can make it to like two, three in the morning. I'm still sitting at that same $63. Let's see if we can make some more money. About to get started. I want to go downtown, and that's going in the opposite direction. Plus, it has a stop, so definitely not that. It looks like I'm taking somebody somewhere, then bringing them right back. That's what it looks like. Whatever the case may be, it's not a ride I want anyways. So, you know, I'm trying to get something to go downtown Phoenix. I don't know what that $14 ride is right there. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's way too far north. And it's like, holy shit, 17 miles? Almost 20 miles total. Fourteen dollars. It's two and a half miles away. I could probably go and convert that, but it's got to stop. Nope, not converting that shit. Anything with a stop, I automatically just avoid it. Avoid it like the plague. So I want to go downtown Phoenix because they got that you know surge jumping down there. There's an event down there, and it lets out at 10:40. So in 14 minutes, it'll be letting out. I'm not too far from it already, so I could just hit the 10 and shoot up there real quick. Um, no, it's going in the opposite direction of where I'm going, so I don't want to touch that one either. Anything going in the opposite direction? No, I'm trying to go downtown. It's going away from downtown, so sorry about that, lady. Can't do it. But anybody going downtown, I'll pick them up on the way. But it's like, yeah. And Tempe is look like it's, you know, that's where I was earlier. And they had, like, the surge. They were jumping a surge all over the place in Tempe and Mesa. And they screwed me with that deal, so I'm going downtown downtown it has surge and it takes away surge and it has surge and it takes away surge i'm gonna go down there anyways if i can't get surge i'm gonna try to convert a couple of cash rides out of this event i'll see what i can do because if the apps ain't gonna pay me i gotta fight i gotta fight i gotta get this money if they're not gonna pay me cool no problem i'll have to pay myself that's how it's gonna be 
Here we go, already in the bonus zone. I got a 450 bonus. They trying to give me 13 miles for 15 bucks. I got a 450 bonus. Looking for everything short right now. It's 1050. Let's go, let's go. I'm sitting by all the black SUVs on my normal spot over by what, Monroe and First Street. Now $13 for that? Nah, we're cool. I said, I'm not trying to do nothing like more than five miles. I'm not trying to go that far. They're trying to send me all these nature hikes and shit right off the bat. Look at it. They took the surge away that quick. Damn, these motherfuckers is dirty. They gave me two rides that had surge and then pulled it away. See that shit? Two rides with surge and they yanked it real quick. And no one is probably still surging down here. I'm going offline. Fuck that shit. If it ain't no surge, I'm not going back online. They just gonna have to deal with that shit. Hold up for a second. Let me go back and Uber. That was crazy. They gave me two rides with 450 surge, then just pulled the whole surge out. Tell you, boy, this, this is what they be... Do it. I'm going Uber real quick. Let's see what Uber's got. Uber ain't got no surge, but maybe they'll give you something good. Let's see what they got. Because I just want to do some short rides. You know, I'm already downtown. I'll take like three, four miles or something like that. Three, four miles, you know, 15 bucks. Easy. But with the shit they trying to... Nah, I'm not doing that. 450? Yeah. Then they said, no, we ain't going to give you no rides. We're going to pull that shit. They yanked it quick as hell. Look at that. The event's going on and they got all the surge up north. Guaranteed if I drive up north, they're going to put surge right back to where I am right now. Let me see what Lyft's got. What kind of shit Lyft's talking about? Maybe they'll give me a 20 mile ride and I can do it for cash. Nah, that's 20 miles in the wrong direction. <laughs> it's like, yee, sorry about that. Yeah, that's kind of a shot right there. 20 miles in the wrong direction. I bet everybody got online real quick, and that's why they pulled the surge so fast. As soon as that surge jumped up, everybody got online. It's like, damn it. But that's what we do. We sit around, we wait till surge generates, and we get back online. Let's see what Uber's talking about. Uh, $18, multiple stops. Mm, I don't know. $18 of multiple stops? No, nah, I'm not doing that. Definitely not doing that. Even though it's only 11 miles, 12 miles total, I just don't like the looks of it. It's like, I don't like the multiple stops. That's four people right there. If multiple stops and you're leaving this event, that's four people. And it's like, ee, nah, I'm cool. I'm kind of cruising right now. I don't want to do four. All right, let's see what we got. $5 for that? Nah, we're cool on that shit. $5 for about almost five miles? Nah, I'm cool. I gotta bring some surge back in the mix. Let's just go offline. Yeah, we'll just go offline with Lyft for a while. Cause they ain't doing shit anyways. I don't believe they pulled that 450 surge that fast. I mean, it, it was on there for two rides and it's disappeared. Yeah. Doubt it. Oh shit, I think I got delivery zone. 452 for three and a half miles for some pizza. Let me make sure I don't got delivery zone. Yep, turn deliveries off. My bad. I had deliveries on earlier just to see what they would throw me. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that. We're cool. We're cool. So I'm just going to sit here and chill and see what, you know, Uber got coming out of the pipe. Man, there's a lot of SUVs out tonight. Because the event is like, I don't know, some Circus Soleil thing. I don't know what it is. But it's only 3,000 people, so it's not that major of an event. But there should be some good rides down here. Like I said, I'm looking for all short shit. I'm look, not looking for nothing long. Wait a minute. Let's go in here. See if they put the surge back up. Nope. No surge back. Nope. Nope. <laughs> then they got surge jumping in Guadalupe. Yeah. They got to do more. They got to do like $2 a mile rides out here. They can't do $2 a mile. We can't touch it. I could have did that 18 mile ride, told them, you know, pay me 35 bucks. But the problem is that was so far north, you ain't getting a ride back. You'd be stuck up there all night trying to get a ride back. I've done that before. It's like, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Cool on that shit. All right, this is about 11.15 and this is the trash. This is all they've been sending all night. Shit like this. No surge. $4 for like almost three miles. Like, no, no. I'm cool on that shit. This is what they've been doing all night. It's an event down here.
And they're sending dollar a mile rides. Look at that shit. This is what they're sending all night. No doubt it. Even Uber was sending shit like that. Uber was sending like 15 miles for $18. Crazy shit. And I'm like, man, after an event? No, nah, I'm cool. Look at that right there. Same thing. Eight miles, $8. Nine miles, $8. Nope. Cool. What's Uber talking about? Trip radar shit. $4 for like a mile and a half. Uh, I would take it, but I'm just like, man, $20 to go down to Mesa. $20 to go down to Mesa. Yeah. Let's see if I can get that one. 20 bucks to go to Mesa on Isabella. Somebody else took that one. $4 for that one. Nah. Because I would roll up on that one at, and say, hey, man, tell you what, 30 bucks, man, 30 bucks. I'm not doing 20, but I'll do it for 30. <laughs> that was my deal. It's like, but I'm not doing 20. No, hell no. Then this shit, like I said, I came, look at all these drivers at the airport. 28 drivers down there, minimum 28, sent at the airport. It's crazy. This shit's crazy. Look at that, $3 for about 0.7 of a mile. Nah, not even worth it. I'm I'm not moving for $3. I'm really not moving for three bucks. They can walk. They only got a half mile to go. They can walk. It's a half, <laughs> fucking, it's a half mile. And you don't want to walk a half mile. It must be like four fucking people or something. I don't know. A half mile? For real? Nah, I'm cool. Like, I wouldn't even fuck with that. Point two of a mile to pick them up so they can get driven a half mile. I don't know. That's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Nah. Shit just don't even make sense. And a half mile downtown is like two blocks. So they don't want to walk two blocks. Six dollars for about seven miles. Mm, nah, I'm cool on that. Cool on that too. Like I said, there's nothing down here. There's just nothing down here. It's all garbage. If they give me a ride going back towards my house, I'll take it and just call it a night. But I'm not gonna be messing with this shit. No, Friday night, this is horrible, horrible. Seven dollars to go way the hell over there. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. I was going over by ASU anyways. It might be some shit going on on ASU later tonight, but from what I'm seeing, nah, this is horrible. No surge, just, man, this is horrible. And it's, like I said, it's after an event. $9 for like 12 and a half miles. University of the Forest, that's going all the way to Tempe. For $9, going all the way to Tempe. Man, I used to do those for 15 That's crazy. That's crazy. And like I said, I could be doing offering cash rides for these, but it's like, eh, they just they don't look good enough. I need something that's like, you know, 20 bucks. Then I can make a cash ride offer for that. These rides? Nah, I don't know. Like stuff like that. Nah, I don't think so. And that's like probably right around the corner from me right here. And it's like, no, for six bucks? No. I could tell him 15. Like 15 bucks? Shit. Look at that. That right there. $4 for about almost four miles. Yeah, nah. Doubt it, doubt it. And a lot of these rides, like I said, I know they're probably paying, especially with an event night, Friday night, they got to be paying at least triple, triple this money. $15, $20 for these rides. And it's like, man, that's crazy. What we got over here on Uber? $11 to go to Vermont, 35th Avenue. Nah, I'm not going that way. Not hitting 35th Ave tonight. Nope. $3 to go up a block. Nah, I'm cool. I'm not doing no $3 rides tonight. I just don't feel like it. Yeah, seven miles, six books. Nah. They've got to do something different. There's a lot of people walking out here. But it's like, man, the money's just not here. They got the, the rides and the hits are coming, but man, there's just nothing out here. Seven dollars for almost ten miles. Nope. Nope. Like it's like nothing out here. Straight garbage. Jeez. They gotta have something going on. Three dollars for another mile and a half. Nah, I'm cool on that. I say you do ten of those rides, you make 30 bucks. I'm not trying to do 10 rides for three dollars tonight. 
Like, nah, I'm cool. And then we ain't getting no tips anyways. Nah, I'm cool. I'm just, I just don't feel that shit. I'm not doing no 10 rods to make $30. <laughs> it's like, no. It was like, oh man, look at all these rides you're doing. You're going to end up getting 30 bucks by the end of the night. No, I ain't fucking with no 30 bucks. Keep that 30 bucks. Keep it. All right, let's see. Because it ain't got no surge out the event. We got another $3 ride. There we go. Not doing it. Not doing it. Sorry about that. And let me just turn off Lyft. Lyft is just, they don't have nothing going on right now. Just turn Lyft off. Forget them, forget them, forget them. Uber's got nothing going on either. It's about to turn midnight in a minute. Maybe I should just go home, take my nap till about two o'clock in the morning. Take me a nap, get up about 1.30, 2 o'clock. Because I'm not that far from home anyways. I'm just like, man, have you been speeding? Has your mom been speeding? Motherfuckers, I fuck with me all the time. Do what I want to do in my car, as long as ain't no passengers in it. Yeah, they got a little surge at that airport or whatever, but that's it. No surge anywhere else in the city. Friday night, event going on downtown. No surge. Man, fucking straight garbage. Friday night garbage. 10p, I actually took an Uber ride. I was sitting on the side of the road. An Uber ride came through for 17 bucks. And so I was like, okay, usually I drive down to Tempe for 15. They gave me 17, so I was like, cool, I'll take it. 17 bucks for like 10 miles. I was like, fine. Hopefully they'll give me a tip. I was sitting right around the corner. So I shot around. I was on 5th Street. Shot around the 2nd Street. Picked them up real quick. Now I'm down here. Back in Tempe. Hopefully I'm still out because it's only 1230. 2 o'clock. That's when the clubs and shit let out. So I got an hour and a half. Kick back. Relax for a second. Listen to some music. Do whatever. Probably grab me something to eat. There's Voodoo Donut. I don't want no donuts. I need some real food. I already ate already. But man, I didn't eat like I wanted to eat though, man. It was like... I was rushing because I what did I end up eating? I ate some uh some pizzas. I had a couple of pieces or whatever like that. But I, I'm like, man, that wasn't enough. I need to get something real. I want a big ass sandwich, like a like a turkey club sandwich or something. I don't know. But I got a little time up under my belt, so I'm back in Tempe. Quick $17. So so far I'm at like about what $80 for the day. 80. Wait, plus my 15 from the morning. So I'm at 95 for the day. 95 bucks on Friday so far. With my private ride plus all this shit, should be at over 200 by now on a normal fucking day. I'd be over 200. Whatever, old ragged ass apps. Man, I'm telling you, this should be irritating the hell out of me. But, let me see, yeah. So I got Lyft running over here. Whoops, hold up for a second. I was showing the motherfuckers the picture of the Jeep and shit. They was cracking up. And so I got 63 over here, 17 on the other side. Puts me at $80 plus the 15 from this morning. Let's see what these ragamuffins talking about. Oh, uh, no, nah, we're not doing that. No, nah, four bucks for four miles. No, nah, we're cool. We're cool. It's like, I'm about to go a pretty uh, quick trip. It's right here. So I'm going to go to quick trip, use the bathroom, and get me a crusty dusty. That's what I'm going to end up doing up here. So I'm going to turn all this shit off. It's crusty dusty time for my man, Melly Mel. Always getting them crusty dusties in San Antonio, doing it big. Shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. We need, we need to have us a, instead of Melly Mel, we need to have us a Krusty Dusty called Jelly Mel. And it what it is is a jelly donut. Melvin, you got to create it, man. Like, man, you got to call that shit the Jelly Mel instead of Melly Mel. Get you a Krusty Dusty baby with jelly inside that motherfucker. Have you a Jelly Mel for breakfast. <laughs> Back in the morning, all I use is about what? An eighth of a tank, a few. I ain't even used a quarter. I didn't use an eighth of a tank, not a quarter. I just ain't been doing no driving. Um, Tempe looks like it's kind of lighting up on lift a little bit. I don't want to ride up there because I know the moment I get up there, they're going to take that shit away. I got 325 sitting over here on baseline. I'll probably go on Uber to see what Uber throws me first just because, like I said, Lyft is notorious for throwing shit. If Uber throws me something like a good nature hike where I can get like Chandler or Gilbert or something like that, I probably want to convert that motherfucker into a cash ride tonight. Like, all this is garbage right here. I mean, $7.56, 7 miles, $3 for like two miles. Yeah, this is all shit right here. I wouldn't want to even touch that right now. Now, I, I'll guarantee that $3 one, that's about four students right there. It's about four people that don't feel like walking. Never fucking fails. You'd be like, oh, man, it's probably one person. You get there, be like four motherfuckers standing on the curb. 
$13, going all the way back to 16th Street. No. $3.53 for nine. What a burger. What? $3.53 to go 9.2 miles. That's 28 minutes. You're making $7 an hour driving 18 miles. You're making $7 an hour driving 18 miles. If it costs you $4 to go, like, if you get 25 miles a gallon, let's just say you spent $4. So you're making $7 an hour, but you're spending $4 to make that $7. <laughs> you end up netting $3 that hour. That's some funny shit. It's like, what was your net income for that? Man, $3. I delivered fucking Whataburger twice, $3.53 each time, 18 miles, used about $4 worth of gas. I fucking made $3 all hour. Yeah, these apps be killing me, man. It's like, y'all gotta be, nobody's taking that shit. I'm like, who are they fooling, man? They just throwing this shit out there to see what idiot's going to do it. Oh, man, $3.53. It's money. It's almost like getting a bonus. <laughs> I'm getting $3.53 a ride. That's a great bonus. Hey, man, it's not per ride, motherfucker. We're looking at per miles and per minutes. Don't do per ride. Because if you said, hey, man, I give you $20 per ride, I'd be like, okay, how far am I going? 100 miles? Yeah, it's not a good deal. But if you say, I'm going to give you $20 per ride, I say, well, how many miles am I going? One mile? That's a good deal. <laughs> so $20 per ride? Nah. That's why I'm like, don't, don't look at per ride shit that often. It's like, yeah, I'm going to get an extra $2 per ride. How far are you going? Like a half mile to get the $2? Or are you going like 10 miles to get the $2? What are you getting? It's like, shit, I don't, I don't play that, that challenge shit. Some of these YouTubers like that. Oh, I got a challenge, man. I'm going to get all this money off this challenge. Yeah, no. Nah. All right, going up to Scottsdale. $17 to go up to Scottsdale. Eh, I don't know, man. Just not tonight. That's for somebody else. That's not for me. Yeah, but like I said, I don't do ride challenges because they don't, they're not worth nothing. Like the ride challenge over here, I don't want that either. Five, six, nine, no. This ride challenge right here, I can do 20 rides and get $10. That's 50 cents per ride as a ride challenge. That's your quest. 50 cents, that's bum money. They're going to give you 50 cent if you do a ride, man. I'm going to give you 50 cent, man. Fuck that. No, that is not a bonus. That is, man, I don't, some of these people be chasing these bonuses, cracking me up. I'm like, are you doing the math behind this shit? It's like, you can't be driving for no 50 cent and $2 and shit as a damn bonus. A bonus is like $4, $6, $8. That's a good bonus. 50 cents? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. I rather just drive smarter. I just drive smart. Like this shit here, this is none of this shit smart. $4 for four miles, $3 for three miles, dollar a mile rides. It's one o'clock in the morning on Friday. Well, it's Saturday now, but you know what I mean, Friday night pretty much. And it's like, this is what they're offering, dollar per mile shit, 50 cent bonuses. <laughs> Gonna give you a 50 cent bonus. It's a Friday night and spatula bonus, motherfucker. Like, no, nah, I want no Friday night spatula bonus. Keep that 50 cent. <laughs> It's like, shit, we ain't trying to do that. Fuck that. Let's go see what old Griff looking like. These ragamuffins over here. Oh, of course they're going to send me a ride as soon as I go over there. $4 for UberX share? Nah, let's not and say we did. Yeah, that's probably four people anyways. Two fifty two for 20 minutes. What? That's like, you could do that three times an hour. So three times an hour, you'll be going about 19 miles. And you'll be getting about seven fifty again. Seven fifty. That's crazy. Seven fifty an hour. That's a go puff delivery at that. Go puff. You straight tripping. You motherfuckers tripping. Y'all gonna try to do people like that? Now you got to go over on mill, pick up somebody, and take them there. No, I'm not doing that. Everybody's leaving mill right now because it's starting to surge. They don't want to pay that surge price. They're like, man, I'm gonna leave right now. Shit, you ain't going nowhere at them prices. You're gonna be right where you at. So I'm around the corner on rule right now. If it surges, I'll go over there. If not, I'm going home. Ah, I done ate my two crusty dusties. Shit, got my juice. I'm just kicking back, waiting on a good ride. What about this $20 ride right here? Oh, they ain't gonna show it to me. Oh, I gotta go online. Now I'm saying 12. It was 20, then it jumped to 12 real quick. Something's going on up there. Oh, they got something going on at the Marquee. Okay, something must be going on at the Marquee Theater. Woo-wee. It's going to be some good rides up there if we can get some surge up there. Let's go see what we got on Uber over here. 
No. Nah. Uber ain't doing shit. All right, let's turn Uber off. They're not really doing nothing anyways. Not updating. Today has been two months since I updated. November the 17th was my last update. Let's see what the ragamuffins is up to. Eight dollars to go to Scottsdale? No, nah, it's like ten miles. Nah, I'm cool. It's way too far up the highway for eight bucks. Shit, it's way too far. I could pick them up and tell them twenty. I'll do that shit for twenty. No, three dollars to go three miles. Mm, nah, we're cool on that shit. Don't feel like doing that either. Nope, nope. Leave that where it is. They gotta throw some surge out there. They gotta do something because all these rides is garbage. Look at that. Pick up somebody on mill and take them all the way down. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. I mean, that probably is a good cash ride. That will be a $20 cash ride. I might want to shoot around the corner and see. Mm, $4 for four miles. No, nah, we're cool. We're cool on that shit. What else we got? Mm, $3 to go. No. Nah. Still, no, it's like a dollar a mile. They're giving me a lot of dollar a mile shit. Nope, $5, five miles. Wrong direction anyways. It's going away from the club areas. Because it's only one o'clock in the morning. When two o'clock hits, hopefully that's when the, when the shit really starts hitting. Because this is a bunch of garbage right here. Let me just turn this shit off. They ain't doing nothing anyways. Yeah. I'm going to cruise around somewhere in a second. Oh, they ain't going to let me look at it. That's the one up on... Dang it. That's probably the one I was just trying to look at earlier. Yep, that was it. Chandler. Man. That's worth 20 bucks. Easily worth 20. No, I'll say 25. That's 25, but let's not. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I don't want to do none of those rides. They gotta they gotta throw some surge or something like that. Because this shit's garbage. They gotta throw something up there. They must have got um, a little concert going on up here because this area, Snakes and Lattes, yeah, there's a concert or something going on up there. Hmm. Maybe I should ride over there and see if I can drum up some cash rides. Because this shit tonight, pff, garbage, garbage. Let's see what Uber's got. Come on, man. What the fuck you doing, man? Come on, man. Yeah, nothing. Still nothing. They got something jumping at the airport. Let's turn on Uber real quick. See if they give me an airport ride for $15 or a five. They've been trying that shit all day. $5 for that ride. Nobody's doing that ride. Nobody's going damn near three miles to pick up somebody to take them a mile. No, nobody's doing that. 10 bucks. Takes somebody up to Scottsdale. Nope. 350 for that's coming back. That 350 is coming back. Man, they trying hard tonight. Ash and 9th Street. Is it? Man, these rides are fucking horrible. What is that? What's the next one? 850, 679, 10. Nah, we're done with this shit. Yeah, let me kick back and relax for a second. This is all right. I'm going to go cruise over there and it ain't shit. No, nah, you know what? Uh, I'll wait till 2. I'll wait till 2. All right, I'm in the bonus zone already. Let me go pick up Adam real quick. I made him a second hit the button. It's $9 for about three miles. I was just turning into Jack in the Box. They hit me in the bonus zone, so I was like, all right, cool. Let's go. Let's do this shit. All right, come on, slow-ass car. Another Uber car with an Uber light. Driving slow. All right. Like I said, I knew this was going to start to surge pretty soon. So I got to surge real quick. Go pick up Adam. Take him three miles, nine bucks, three dollars a mile. Perfect. A lot of people out right now looking like it's going to be a good money night. So you got idiots running across the street on a green light. It's looking like some motherfuckers going to get run over at some point. It's like, all right, keep fucking with me if you want to, motherfucker. I'm going to put a cattle catcher on the front of my shit and run a motherfucker clean over. <laughs> yeah, Lyft is out their damn mind. So I'm dropping off Adam. Like, I just finished dropping him off real quick. Lyft is sending me, trying to send me over to Sky Harbor. Picking up people 27 miles, $27. You damn well know that person paid about $80 to get to where they going. And I'm like, you going to give me 27 
I almost said, yeah, they sent me two of them back to back. And I was like, yeah, I'm not doing it. Look, downtown is booming. Like everywhere I was earlier, got surge in it now. That's how these motherfuckers go. Look at that shit. $10 to go like 13, 14 miles almost. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. I ain't got no surge on my phone, so they're not going to pay me nothing. So I'm like, I got to go back up here to uh, Tempe and get some surge. But it was like, yeah, they tried to send me that airport shit. I was like, man, you got your fucking mind. 27 miles, $27 from the airport. I'm not, no, nah, no. Nah. I drive up, and he was an older guy. So if, if he was like a younger person, you know, I would have probably went and tried to do a cash deal. But some of these older guys, I don't know. You know, they, oh, I don't want to, you know, violate the terms of service. I don't want to, you know, lose my account trying to do a cash ride. And I have to cancel the motherfucker. And I went all, and I'm not close to the airport. I'm about seven miles away from the airport. So it would have been like 34 miles total for $27. Go seven miles to get him, then 27 to his house. I can go seven miles to get to him, and the dude don't want to do the deal. So it'll be a waste of me driving. So I'll be like, man, I'm not going way up there just to hear somebody go, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> He's like, shit, I'll be pissed. Like, Motherfucker, I just drove seven miles to here. No, fuck that. That's what. When something's like a mile or two away, I don't mind. A mile or two, I could do a mile or two. Seven miles, nah, I'm not doing seven miles. Nope, nope. So I'm going to head back up here to Tempe real quick. I don't know. I'm going to turn this. I ain't got no surge. I'm going to turn this shit off. So I'll go back up there and see if I can get some surge and get another ride. Okay, so that was a real quick drop right there. It was Maddie and the girls. So they ain't threw a $5 surge up, which is cool. I don't mind a $5 surge sitting up there. But what you don't know is I'm just right down the street from it. I didn't go too far. That's why I was waiting on a short ride because I can double dip the surge. When you get short rides, you can keep double dipping. And it's like, hey, 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 who got a dollar? I got a dollar. Who got a dollar? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's that old fucking, I think that was on Little Rascals. Eric would be fucking with people about that shit all the time. It was like, that is not for real. Yeah, that's for real. She even called somebody. She, they was like singing that shit on the phone. We was dying laughing. Like, I guess it is real. I thought you just made that shit up. All right, let me head back. See if I can grab some of this surge. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can get some surge real quick. Where we at? $7 for five. Nope, not doing that one. I'm not doing no $7 for no five miles. Sorry, we're looking for something a little bit shorter than that and give me a little bit more surge and I'm good. All right, we're up to $3 bonus. Cool, cool. I'm looking for something about two, three miles maybe. Something easy like what I just did. So I'm not trying to do no nature hikes, no bullshit. This and I'm just trying to stay in my area, stay in my zone. But yeah, let's see what I got. Nope, $13, 12 miles. Doubt it. We're not doing that either. Listen, they're going to keep trying to give you nature hikes to get you out of this surge because it's a pretty good surge right now. $5 for this? Let's go. And I just shot right past they ass. Hate that shit. You fucking raggedy motherfuckers. Now I got a U turn and go back. This is one of those weird ass pickups at the district where the pickup pen is in the street, but I'm in the driveway area and it's not going to pick them up because it keeps saying I'm a minute away until I go by where he is. And it's never going to happen because I'm in a different area right now. So I'm going to go this way like this and we're going to fucking cancel them. Yeah, let's let them get their pickup pin right. All right, I'll cancel that one. I don't like when those pickup pins are fucked up. I don't like that. And right there at the district, if the person's not downstairs when I get there, it's never going to pick them up. So I just say, fuck it. I just don't even get them. Hey, let's do this one instead. Let's do this one. I just got to go forward, pick this person up. Oh, shit, they're on the opposite side of the street. God damn it. You know what? Fuck this shit. Cancel him, too. All right. I don't want that ride either. Wrong side of the street, because I'm clear on this side. So I'll just go this way, because I was already making a right turn. He was up to the left. I was already making a right. There was I wasn't going to be, be able to get to him. So he'll get the next ride. Fuck it. But I don't like that shit. If I don't like where a pickup is or somebody's not going to get the notification, it's stupid of me to sit there. All right, let's do, no, that one has a stop. Definitely not. Nope, sorry about that. Can't do that one. Sorry about that. Uh, for that one, 2,000 mile, can't do that one either. Let's not do that one. Because it's behind me. I'm not turning around. I already turned around once. I'm not turning around again. So, 
fucking luck of the draw. You got a driver who already made a U-turn once. I'm not doing that shit twice. $13 to go 11 miles? Doubt it. Don't think so. Listen, I'm one of those drivers, man. This shit's got... Pickups got to be easier. It's got it's 2.20 in the fucking morning. I don't do fucked up pickups. It's got to be easier than that. I'm making a left turn right now, so they better not give me shit on the right side. That's all I know. Nope, shit's north, and I'm going left already. Sorry. That's north, and I'm already going west. Like I said, once I'm in motion, I don't fuck around. I'm not doing no more. You already did one U-turn. I'm not doing another one. It's like, put that shit in front of me. Put it where I can get to it. No opposite side of the street shit to where I got to keep U-turning. I'll just pass that shit up and head to the house. Nope, that one's behind me too. Sorry. It's like, give me some shit that's ahead of me and I'll take it. I'm not taking shit behind me. And it's like, that's just how it is. And a lot of, you know, drivers, they do all that. And that's why their cars be getting fucked up. They be letting these apps fuck with them. Turning around, you turning on it. No, nah, fuck all that. It's like, motherfucker, you know where I am. Oh, that's way shit. 18 miles for like 20 fucking miles. No, cool on that shit. I'm trying to stay in this area right here. I'm not trying to leave this area. Because in about fucking 20 minutes, I'm going to be done any fucking way. So I'm not going nowhere. I drive that far. Man, I ain't going to make it back to my house till like 4 in the fucking morning. Like, nope. I'm trying to end this shit at 3 o'clock and be at my house by 3.10. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yeah, these motherfuckers, man, they got to get this shit together. They got to get it together. And I'm, and it sucks like canceling people and shit like that But it's what it is, you know what I'm saying It is what it is These apps are notorious for that shit They'll put people on the opposite side of the streets Put people behind you, put people way out of the fucking way I just keep that shit moving I don't even stress It's like they're like, bro, you canceling a lot of people It's like, well, a lot of people are in fucked up places right now I can't just pick up anybody It's gotta be in a decent spot for me to pick up Like that, I could do that Alright Let's see where this motherfucker's at. You better be right in front of me. I'll tell you that now. Yep, right in front of me. There we go. That's the kind of shit I like right there. Be right in front of me. Two coolest rides back to back. The one, the first ride that y'all saw me with, the guy Shaw. So I picked Shaw up. Oh, Shaw gave me five bucks. That's what's up. Hey, and Shaw right here, this guy's cool as hell right here. Let me rate, let me rate him real quick. Like, my guy. That's my guy right there. So he's was um so what happened is I'm not taking that shit now. So I pick up Shaw. Shaw comes out with his homeboy and shit. And he walks out. This is so we start chatting and talking. He says, Hey, wait a minute. I think I've had you before. I remember this car. He was like, Did you used to be like working in corporate America or something like that? I said, Yeah, I used to be in a casino. He said, That's right. He says, Bro, cause you picked me in like four other guys or like, three other guys up when we had just left a party, was going to a uh, a pool party and you were laughing and we were talking about going to a strip club and you was gonna drop us off at the, I said yeah because we were talking about Vegas and everything else he was like bro you're a fucking beast and he was and he had another dude with it so they was like cracking up laughing and shit I said dude let me give you my card man just so we can stay in touch I'm not doing that one either I said let me give you my card bro so we can stay in touch cool dude was cool as shit cool as shit let me turn this off I'm done for the night anyways but yeah so I ended up with $98 on this side I think 17 on Uber and 15 this morning. So 32 in that makes about $130 total I made today, about $130. So not bad, 130 bucks. And I've been like having some fucking horrible days. 130 is not amazing, especially on a fucking Friday. But it's like, eh, I'll take it, I'll take it. 98 here, 17 on Uber, 15 from this morning. So there you go. That's my $130 right there. But yeah, dude was cool as shit. He was cool as shit. We were cracking up laughing, cracking up laughing. And he was telling his boy, man, I never get the same driver twice. I never get the same. He says, dude, it must be fake, man. So I was like, dude, you know what? I'm going to give you my car. Stay in touch. And I told him, you know, because they were talking about, we want to go to Casino, Arizona. I said, I'll tell you what we're going to do, man. I said, let me get all these weekends out the way, get all this money out the way. I said, we got a big uh, holiday coming up. And so what I want to do is, is after the holiday, let's all go up to Talking Stick. He said, we were just at Talking Stick last night. I said, we'll go up there and we'll gamble for a couple hours. He was like, bro, say less. <laughs> oh, Shaw, that's my guy right there. Like I said, every once in a while, I run into people who remember the car. They be like, wait a minute. He was like, orange BMW? Don't nobody drive a fucking orange BMW except that one guy. He fucking guy. He says, hey, didn't you used to work for like corporate America or something like that? I was like, yeah. So we started cracking up laughing. He was like, oh, shit. And I remember that ride. It was four guys. We were in tears 
crying laughing half the ride we were in tears crying laughing they were leaving the party we was talking all shit we was talking about strippers everything else man it was so fucking funny and i'm i'm glad i ran into him again i'm glad i ran into him because now i gave him my card and i know these guys do a lot they rip and run to the casinos back and forth they always at the clubs and shit like that this guy shaw he's gonna turn out to be a good private ride and he's got a lot of homeboys it was a lot of them a lot of them i'm gonna drop down right now go get some of the surge so hopefully, you know, me and Shaw stay in touch. Shh, man, this is what we got to do out here in these streets. We got to do this shit. Guess who's at the stoplight? Me and guess who? That's a Waymo. Me and a Waymo. That was the only two cars at the light for a minute. Me and a Waymo hanging out. But, yeah, that shit was pretty cool. Shaw was all right. Shaw was cool as a motherfucker, man. That was great shit. Appreciate seeing my man Shaw. But I'm going to see if I can drop down, pick up some of the surge. That looks like it's on Apache. So I got to go all the way down to Apache just so I can make sure I swing into that $3 right there. Or, uh, yeah, let me turn here. This is University. I'll turn on University. I'm not going to make it to Apache. I'll turn on University, pick up some of this surge up here, then swing back down. I just did my last trip. That was us. I canceled one too because I didn't feel like doing another trip. I canceled one. But this one right here is the one I took to my house. Now it says 1021. He tipped me $15. His name's Asa. He showed me the screen. He lives right down the street from me. So I'm waiting another five minutes to see if this tip pops up in my app. I already screenshot this screen right here. He tipped me $15. This shit should be 2521. If I don't see this motherfucker pop up in about five minutes. I will be sending a message to support saying, where's my $15? Because he straight tipped me. He showed me and he says, hey, I'm going to tip you $15 because this car is amazing. And he straight showed me the phone and everything. He hit the button right when I was sitting next to him. Hit the button, saw the tip go through. And I'm like, I'll give it a minute. But if they don't tip me, I know where he lives. I'll go back and check his damn house. I'll go knock on his door and be like, hey, he was cool as shit. Like, listen, I saw you tip me to 15 This is what it shows on the screen. So I'm waiting till this money shows up. If it don't show up, oh, we're gonna have a fucking problem. That 15 better pop in there. Cause I'm like, hmm. I might send send support a message because usually the tip comes through pretty quick when I somebody tips like that. I wanna make sure it comes through. 1021 is not popping up. I'm about to send ass a message right now. This is bullshit. It should have already hit by now. Look, it's still saying four tips. Everybody else tips was coming through, $5, $5, but I don't even trust that those were the tips that were coming through. These motherfuckers still tip so much, you can't even trust what's on these apps. I'm glad he sat in front of me and did that because this shit's getting irritating, man. It's getting real fucking irritating. I'm tired of these apps stealing from us, man. This shit's pissing me off. And I should have just took a picture of his phone while he was sitting right there, but he don't live too far. He's right down the street. I can always go back down there and get the fucking total and show these motherfuckers that they stole my money. But we'll see. We'll see. I give him a couple of minutes to hit me back. After I sent him that message, there's my $15 tip sitting there. Now, they probably didn't think I was going to notice that shit. Twenty-five, twenty-one, just like I said. Make sure you guys talk to your riders because I got a funny feeling I'm getting a lot of tips left and they're not giving me my tips until I contact them. Because usually when somebody tips me in the back, like one dude said, hey, I just left you $8. It popped up on the screen immediately. One dude said, hey, man, I just tipped you $5. Popped up on the screen immediately. They've said this in the past. Whenever they don't say nothing, just a tip will pop up, like $1, $5. And I'm wondering if these tips are like 20 bucks, But because I don't say nothing, they don't give me nothing. Oh, he don't even know he got a tip. He don't even know. Send him a dollar. Send him $2. Talk to your riders. Ask them. Say, please, can you confirm your tip amount before you leave? Because the apps are lying to us. They're giving us $1 when people are giving us $10. They're giving us $5 when people are giving us $15. Please confirm. Say, if you don't want to tip me, that's fine. I totally get it. You don't have to. But if you do tip me, can you just say, hey, I'm going to tip you $4 right here. I'm going to tip you $5 right here. Because these apps are lying. They weren't going to give me that $15. It took a long time for them to give me my 15 bucks. And he tipped me when he was in the car. I saw him hit the button. Now, usually when you hit the button, it pays everything. The tips come through immediately. I sent their ass a message. That's why I got that tip. All right, so these were my totals for the day for Friday night and the Saturday morning. Let me see. I was over here. I got 1782, 
plus my 15 earlier this morning. So it makes that about $33. Let's just say 33 bucks. So $33 so far on Uber plus my private ride. So that was 33. And then on Lyft, I did 123. That puts me at 156. So about $156. And like I said, I was only online for like four hours to make that 123. But let me see, I was in almost six hours. So five something. So 248. So roughly about $40 an hour. I'm running around $40 an hour on Lyft. But like I said, they just they're they're doing some screwy shit right now. They're doing look at my fares are only 125. My fares are 125. My actual bonuses plus my tips are 123. My bonuses and my tips are $123. And my earnings are $125. Like half my money is tips. We're working for tips right now. That's basically what we're doing. We're working for fucking tips right now. Half my money is bonuses and tips. That's all surge and shit like that. We're sitting here working for tips, man. It's fucking crazy. Working for tips. So I made that. You know, the 123 plus the 33 puts me at 156. So I made 156 on the day. And like I said, it was only about four hours I was online. Because even with Uber, I was running Uber at the same time. And I did that $117 ride to bring me back to Tempe. But that was about it. And man, it's just, it's been slow. It's been slow. I mean, I could go out and make like maybe another $40 before I call it a night. And that will put me at 200 for the day. But I don't know. I don't know. It, it's real slow. Now, imagine you worked at a restaurant as a busboy, waitress, waiter or something like that. Just imagine it. And every shift, you didn't go to the table to get your tips off the table. Instead, your manager went to all the tables, collected all the tips. Told the employees, don't touch them, we'll collect all the tips. Every night, you would get to tips and you'd be like, man, it, my tips just seem short. I had a great time with, you know, the people. We laugh, we joke, they, you know, well, he didn't order number the coffee and some french fries. I mean, he didn't tip you, he just tipped you like three bucks. He didn't order number coffee and french fries. You're like, man, it, it sure didn't feel like a $3 ordeal just for coffee and french fries. And just kept happening like that over and over. Then one day you decided to look and see what people were tipping. They were tipping 20s, 15s, because your personality was making that money. 20, 15, 50s, they just happy to be around you. And you're like, dude, you've been jacking me the whole time for my tips. I ain't seen nobody leave me no $3 tip like all day. I've been watching my tips. And they're leaving me 10, 15, 20s, and 50s. Ain't nobody leaving twos and threes. I'm out here grinding and doing my job. And your boss is like, well, well, you know, maybe that's just this time. But usually they just, when really, they're stealing your tips the whole time. That's how Uber and Lyft is. They're never going to tell you exactly what you're getting tipped. They're going to make you screenshot, make you ask people. They're going to make you chase down your own tips and verify your own tips because they're lying. All these $1, $2, $3, $5, I'm telling you, they're lying. I know my personality. I know the rides I have, the talks I have, the energy I'm sharing. A lot of these riders are telling me, man, you the best driver I've had, man. I, this and that. I'm all oh, you getting a tip, man. Let me, I'm gonna increase my tip, this and that. I hear it all the time. No tip ever comes through. Lift. Yeah, we don't we don't get your Uber be like, yeah, yeah, here's one dollar. That's all they love is one dollar. We gotta start watching our tips. Cause I guarantee, had that guy not at Asa is Asa ASA, had he not sat in the back seat, showed me with his phone, hey man, I just tipped you $15. And he hit the button and we had a great conversation, a great chat the whole time. He went to the house. Nothing ever hit my screen. I made it all the way to my house. I sent Liff a message. When I sent them that message with everything else, they never contacted me back. I just sent them a message. Next thing you know, my tip pops up. I'm telling you, they're jacking us. And if you're not watching your shit, they taking your money. You've got to talk to these riders. Let them know the apps are stealing from us. Let them know that we need verification because the apps are lying, saying we're only getting $1 tips, $3 tips when people are leaving us $5, $10, $15. Talk to your riders. Get your money, y'all. We got to get our money.